it's Kim, the Maker Mom, and I'm here today in my kitchen to talk about some kitchen science. I've got this great new book from Liz Heineke, a scientist and mom who also has the Kitchen Pantry Scientist blog, and we're trying out her new book, The Kitchen Science Lab. We're going to do a fun experiment called Frankenworms, and it involves one of my favorite snack foods, junk foods, gummy worms. Liz makes a point of how easy and accessible science is, and most of the experiments in the book involve things you probably already have around in your kitchen. For frankenworms, we're going to need some gummy worms, baking soda, a cup of warm water, we're going to need some white vinegar, and then just a couple of basic supplies. You're going to start out, you can either cut or use a knife. Um, you can cut with a knife or with scissors to trim down the gummy worms, but you probably want to use scissors, and this is probably a job best left to the adult. Put aside my jar for a glass, and we're going to put the warm water into the glass, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of baking soda. Now, these experiments are things that even very young children can help with. So if you've got a preschooler around, there's plenty they can do in this book with just a little bit of assistance from you. So we're mixing our baking soda and water and then we're going to take our skinny gummy worms, drop them in, and we're going to let them soak for 15 to 20 minutes. While our gummy worms are soaking, we're going to fill a jar with white vinegar. All right, we're back. Our skinny gummy worms have been soaking in the baking so soda solution for 20 minutes, and now we're going to try and fish them out and drop them into the vinegar and watch them come to life. 